Greetings everyone! I am Ahmed Akhtar of Grade 4A, studying in our own English High School Fujara. I have made a video today on solving math squares, whether they are 3 into 3, 4 into 4, or 5 into 5. I want to express my gratitude to my math teacher, Ms. Sunifa, who gave me this wonderful opportunity to make a video which greatly expanded my knowledge of mathematics. And without further ado, let's move right into it. Hi everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to do a 3 into 3 magic square using a trick. Also, since there are 9 boxes in the square, we have to write numbers 1 to 9 in a magical manner. So, what is the speciality of a magic square? The speciality of a magic square is that when we add the numbers horizontally, vertically, and diagonally, we get the same result. So today, I'm going to teach you the simple trick with three simple steps. Come on, let's do it! So, the first rule is that the first number should always be in the middle box of the first row, which means that one should be over here. The next rule, which is the most important of them all, states that the box with the number should be in an up and right sequence, which means that one up. There is no box above one, so we automatically come down and right. So two will be over here. Next, up and right. There is no box over here, so we automatically go left. 3 should be over here. Now here comes the third rule. The third rule states that when the box tier up and right is already filled by another number, you should write the next number below of the previous number. For example, 3 up and right. It is already filled by another number. So 4 should be written under 3. Next, up and right. 5 should be over here. Up and right. 6 should be over here. Now, up. There is no box above 6. So we should automatically come down. And right. Oh. There is no box over there too. So we go left. Oh no! It is already filled by another number. So what should we do? Yes! Apply rule number 3. Which means that 7 should be below of 6. Now, up and right. There is no box in the right side of the number 6. So we should automatically come left, which means that A should be over here. And up. Oh, there's no box over there. So what should we do? Yes, go down and right. 9 should be over here. So this is how you do a 3 into 3 magic square. Now let's see if it's really a magic square. Let's add the numbers. 8 plus 1 plus 6 equals to 15. 3 plus 5 plus 7 also equals to 15. Similarly, this also equals to 15. Also, if we add vertically and diagonally, we'll get, we will get 15. So this proves that this is a successful magic square. Now I'm going to teach you how to do a 4 into 4 magic square. Now I'm going to teach you how to do
do a 4 into 4 magic square. The 4 into 4 magic square is a little different than the 3 into 3 magic square. But there are also 3 simple steps to do it. Also, there are 16 boxes in the square. So, we have to write numbers from 1 to 16 in a magical manner. So, the first step to do the 4 into 4 magic square is called the cross. The cross are the numbers which I have encircled in red. Now, these boxes are called cross because when you see them diagonally, they really look like a cross. See? They look like a cross, right? Yes. Now, the second step is based on the cross. The second step name is forward. Now, you have to write numbers from 1 to 16 in this manner. But, there is a catch. You only have to write the numbers in the, sh the, in the cross boxes. And, you also have to count the plain boxes. Come on, let's start writing. 1. Now, we don't have to write numbers 2 and 3 because there are plain boxes or there are boxes which are not part of the cross. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We don't have to write 5 because it is not a box of the cross. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Now, I will tell you the third and final step. Backwards. Backwards is just the opposite of forward. Now, just imagine that 1 would be over here. So, what would be the next number? 2, right? Yes. So, 1. 2 would be over here. Then 3 over here. 4 over here. But we can't write it because it is already filled by the number 13. Then 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So this is how you do a 4 into 4 magic square. Now let's see if it's really a magic square. So the sum of all these rows, all these columns, and diagonally is equal to 34. So this shows that this is really a magic square. Now I will show you how to do a 5 into 5 magic square. As I said before, now I'm going to show you how to do a 5 into 5 magic square. The method for solving a 5 into 5 magic square is same as solving a 3 into 3 magic square. Also, there are 25 boxes in this magic square. So, we will write numbers 1 to 25 in a magical way. And one more thing. Let's recall our rules for solving the 3 into 3 magic square. Rule number 1. The first number should always be in the middle box of the first row. So 1 should be over here. 
Rule number two, the boxes should always be in an up and right order. And rule number three, if the box your up and right is already filled by another number, then write the next number below of the previous number. Come on, let's start writing. And there's how you do a 5 into 5 magic square. The magical thing in this magic square is that when you add these numbers in any way, horizontally, vertically, or even diagonally, they give the same sum. Now let's try it on this magic square. 17 plus 24 plus 1 plus 8 plus 15 equals to 65. Similarly, for all these numbers, right? Yes, so this is a successful magic square with its result as 65. I hope you learned something new today. Thank you.